She was never really careful when she was running down them stairs. So you're saying she often ran down the stairs? Yep, sprinting. Always in a hurry to get where she was going. And where was she often going? Oh, you know, catcher's mitt and such. Mabel played softball? At her age? Oh, heavens no. Not with her IBS syndrome. Catcher's mitt was a book club of hers. I see. And are there others that can confirm this story? Hi, I'm Pam. Pam's a good friend of the family. Oh, the best. People always joke that I'm their adopted daughter. <laughs> it's just something we do. Mm-hmm. And would you say that there was tension between the three of you? Jealousy? Tempers, perhaps? Well, I can't think of a time that anyone's punched a hole in a wall even once. Mm -hmm. Well, that's oddly specific. Can probably skip the flashback for that one. Flashback? And that's enough of Pam. Oh. <laughs> Ralph, tell me about the night that Mabel died. Well, it was just like any other night. We was just tickling each other in front of the fireplace when Mabel said she needed to go out for some cow's milk. Fireplace? On the hottest night of the year? Did I say fireplace? I'm at the open patio door. And why cow's milk? Why not almond? Well, this ain't the big simple. The big easy? We're just small town folk, Deborah. Just Deborah. And ain't nothing easy about the way she croaked. She was on her way to the grocer. I'm always telling her, Mabel, you gotta be careful with your slippers, hon. You're gonna tumble down them stairs one day and crack your skull wide open with multiple lacerations that look unlikely to be caused by steps, and I'm going to get blamed for your murder. And she laughed and she laughed and she laughed and she laughed so hard that she fell down them stairs and died. She always thought it was so funny when I said that. <laughs> well, I mean, he obviously killed her, so I think we're done here. That's a wrap.